Hey y'all, what's going on? <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. T Row Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch Gemini. My lovely Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? Mm. Hi bye, cross watcher. I was eating something on my bad. I was swallowing some grams. Um, anyway. <laughs> Keep in mind it's a general message and welcome. Thank you guys, okay? You know I'm always appreciative of every time you guys come through. Every time you guys come through. And I hope everybody's doing well. Okay? Keep in mind it's a general message. It will not resonate with everybody. But only take what fits for you and leave the rest, okay? Y'all, I'm sleepy today. I don't want to do the Gemini song. We'll do it um, the next video. I got a little slight headache, so I don't want to... I don't want to make it any worse than what it is, Okay? But, yeah. <clears throat> um, Let's get into it and see what's going on. Let me shuffle a little bit more. Yeah. There's somebody who's literally, um, they're reflecting about a tower that they've caused. Okay. Yeah. They're reflecting. This is looking back. Looking at the years. Isn't that something? I'll keep holding on. So somebody is, I don't know, they not letting go. They gonna keep holding on. They done messed up. They reflecting back on some type of tower that was caused or some type of, I don't know, we gonna figure out what they looking back. Because now they may be wanting to take action towards you because they know that this person could build or grow with you. I see the van. Because on the other side, there ain't nothing on the two of wands. Somebody wants to take action, possibly to travel towards you as well. But this person is very stressed out. Okay, they have a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights over this decision that they made. They did something impulsive because when I was shuffling through, I saw the Knight of Swords, which tells me somebody did something really impulsive and flighty. And now this is why they're in the Knight of Swords right now because of the pathway that they chose. And possibly the pathway that they chose has you feeling blocked and guarded and defensive against this person. And the Nine of Wands. You're standing in your ground in something because you took another turn too. You took the world by storm, okay? You possibly got a new car, moved across the world. Whatever you did, you made some changes in your life. And now you're guarding, guarding. Some of you started a new garden. But now you're guarding, guarded and defensive against this energy. And this is causing this person to feel a tower. This is a tower to this person, and this is why they're in this Nine of Swords energy. Because you have laid something down to rest. You slowed something down. You went another direction. This person, yeah. And it's a missed opportunity now with the Four of Cups energy. Okay? This person could have been bored wherever they're at. But now the bottom line is they want to move to calmer waters with you. But you already know this though. Because this person has a history of going back and forth. With the Knight of Swords. They could be a hothead. They could be getting mad and angry. Breaking up, break up with you. Do you dirty or whatever the case. Baby, you know, probably go sleep out with a, your homegirl. Or put you in a third party situation. And then think that they can come back. This person gets bored. If there's no drama. This is a drama king or queen. If there is no drama. Wherever they're at. And they are the cause of the drama. So no one's feeding into their drama. Then they leave. Or they'll cause some type of drama and then they'll leave. And then they'll want to come back. And then they do it again. And, and so God had to come in and put some type of tower up. Cause some type of events that had happened that actually caused you to be more defensive. Yeah, because see, this is the last straw. Look at this. As I'm looking at this, I said more defensive. Because these are the fence, right? Where you're guarded. So... You, when this person would do this to you, you would have your guard up. It wouldn't be up high. No, it would be low. They can kind of cross and jump over. You know what I mean? Jump over and get to you. But this time, honey, they done took it too motherfucking far and pit, honey. So I don't feel like this is mad. This is you taking action, standing your ground, protecting your fucking energy, and calling it a day. And by you doing that and holding back your energy from this person, this is bringing them this tower. Mm, because you're realizing some type of truth. You see how the... I cannot. You're realizing some type of truth. 
And I was looking at the Nine of Wands when I said that, and then I picked up the uh, Ace of Swords. See how this is by your your crown chakra, your third eye chakra. Something lit up inside of you. You had some. You saw shit for what it really was. Okay, and that's why you got your guard up. Okay, so because somebody did something impulsive, and they always do this impulsive thing, whatever they do. So now you're decided to hold back. Okay, go down another direction and a new path, and this person doesn't like that. Yeah, you decided to move to calmer waters. Listen, so this is guy. This is God uh, divinely guiding you to do what you did. Okay, with the tower and the fool, those are majors. I'm letting you know that God is involved. He's involved in any way, no matter what. But the major arcana is letting you know that this is a big deal, and that last time was the time that changed your life for the better. Because you moved to calmer water, then that's probably and possibly when you had your spiritual awakening because God was getting you to try to walk away or getting you to walk away to this person so you can be enlightened more. So this is the start of your spiritual journey as you go into the light to be enlightened and you left your emotions and your feelings behind. And this is bothering this person as well. They feel that you don't care. It's not that you don't care. It's just you're resilient and you're strong and you don't give a fuck anymore like you used to. Okay, you just don't care anymore. And this person wants you to care about nothing. Look, they want to come back, try to come back and possibly love bomb you, tell you some sweet nothings. Let's go on a trip. They might want to invite you on some type of trip. But this trip is a false trip. I'm going to tell you right now, I see Red Bulls on the way. He might get mad and leave your ass at the trip if you say don't say something that he like. He might leave your ass at the trip. But this is a non-committal and flighty energy. Did y'all see the wings right here? Yeah, this is a non-committal, flighty energy. Now they're, they're going to come off, pull out all the stops, make it look all good, sound all good and everything. But their intentions are to leave. They weren't going to get what they came to get because this is a player. That's what they do. They leave you, come back, jump over the fence over and over again but the last time was the last time and that's why you're going to have to show them action wise as you have already done that you can't come back so this is where they're at stuck hangman mode so <clears throat> what else holy spirit why am i seeing the ace because you're their wish fulfillment and you're holding back <laughs> they think you're being very stubborn Okay, they don't like they don't like this side of you at all. They want to get on the other side. They want to bring you back. You're too strong for this person. They want that docile, innocent. Well, you do look innocent now. Don't get me wrong, and you look young for your age, but don't let the smooth taste fool you because this person mistaked you for a lamb. And they was trying to slaughter the lamb too. But nigga, you had to come out as a lion and start roaring and devouring motherfuckers like I'm the king of the motherfucking jungle. I'm the fucking king of the jungle. Now, we know the lion is the king of the jungle, but you know what I'm saying, okay? You had to step into your authority and your power and take you back. Okay, now this person is praying on their hands and knees, wishing, baby, please come back, because you're leaving them behind. And they're lost. They feel lost without you. They don't know what the hell to do. They do have entity attachments, let me tell you that. And this person is actually thinking that they cannot make it without you. This is so sad. What kind of energy is this? And I feel like they don't feel like they can survive without you. And I'm talking about literally. Like not, don't be like, oh, they can't survive. Okay, 911, emergency, emergency. They can survive. This person, I don't know why. They're, they're, they're childlike. Okay, I think they might have a, <clears throat> Gemini, I don't think you think, you know, this person has some type of, um, Delayed response, learning, mental problem. I'm not talking about anybody. It's just that I don't know what happened, but they feel like they cannot provide or take care of themselves. You have some type of page energy, page night. It's an older person, but we get page night energy. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling it's an older person. But page night energy, very immature. Okay, and their expressions and their emotions and their finances. They're mentally entrapped somehow, some way. And all they know how to do is lie. Damn, that's all they know how to do, spirit? <laughs> spirit say, yeah. They All they know how to do is lie and have third-party situations and many, many lovers and do spell work. Ain't that some shit? 
Well, the spirit said the reason that they have some type of delayed learning, this person's very smart, but it's the spell work and the darkness that they deal with that has taken over. These entities have taken over this person. Okay? So they're really not the same person that you used to know as you're not the same person that they used to know. Mm-hmm. This person is trying to cunningly strategize a way to get back into your heart space, but the way that they're going to go about and do it, it's going to be pretty immature. It's going to be mind-blowing as well, Spirit's telling me, and you're really going to have to stand your ground because this person's just not getting it. Okay? What else, Spirit? Look, they crazy. They holding on to your ass. They like, bitch, I'm going to let go when pigs fly. And they are flying as far as he's concerned. Or she. Okay? So you might have to call. Yeah, you want to have to cut a bitch. <laughs> you want to cut a bitch. <laughs> or call 911 because this motherfucker. You want to have to call the police because this motherfucker is too weird. Okay? Hell, this motherfucker is like, bitch. Let me tell you, this motherfucker got tunnel vision of marriage and trapping you up and locking you up and, like, just, like, making it really hard for you to move forward in your life. The police will have to get called. You, The police will have to get called because they're going to come with the five of wands energy. There's some conflict and chaos coming towards you. And then we got the chariot with, yeah, this toxic energy. He's too toxic or she's too toxic. She's wild, unruly. Because you won't invest in them. They want to feel like, they feel like you're going to, oh, you going to invest in me. Bitch, no, they not. <laughs> Who the hell is this, Gemini High Five? They're going to try to uh, bogart their way. Look, if I, they're going to lie, steep, steep, steep. <laughs> lie, steal, cheat, all of it, okay? What they want to, they're willing to win at all costs, even kill with the blood in the background with that snow back there. Okay, they got entity attachments. Seeing the birds whispering in their ear, the satanic spirit whispering, telling them what to do, how to move, maneuver through. So they got an entity attachment that's actually leading them. It's not going to end well for them, though. I mean, if they, it's just, it never does. They're going to be, they're going to get some type of karma as you get good karma. They're going to get some type of bad karma. They might, spirit said they're going to end up. Child, I don't know what's going to happen to this person. So they're so desolate and depressed, I'm feeling as well. Like they feel like they don't have anything else to live for. So if they do have an encounter with the popo, they might make some type of action for the popo to take them out. I'm going to just keep it 100. I don't like to say that, but that's just where we're at with that. And yeah. Oh my God. This person might get jiggy. Uh, like, look, they're going to get frog when it. Mm. Gemini, if you can avoid this person at all costs, and, and even a hello, what you doing, text message, I feel like you've already blocked them, but they're trying to figure out a way. Child, they really want you back. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm-mm. I don't get a good energy from this person. They ain't, no, and they ain't changed. And they're angry and a hothead at the end of the day because things, their life is just, I don't know. That ain't got nothing to do with you, but I don't understand why this person, because of the decisions that they make, Okay, it keeps them in hangman mode. This person thinks that they, I don't know what they think. Do they think they make good decisions, but every decision that they make, it leaves them in the hangman mode in the tower. And now they so, they make fucked up decisions so much that they don't even know which way is left or which way is right. They don't know nothing. And they want to come to you so you can lead them the way. Oh, hell no, Gemini. Mm -mm. I don't like any of that. You need a man to lead you or a woman, a strong empress to lead, to be by the emperor's side. You don't need no lost ass, stuck, hangman, nine of wands, defensive, or guarded and everything. You told them something, Gemini. They thought you was dumb as fuck. So, um, yeah, and I'm not saying you are. This is how this person thinks that you are. And now they think you're smart. Make it make sense. Are they dumb or are they smart? Spirit says they're geniuses. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, his babies are geniuses. Um, anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, the secret. What about the secret? They're scared. <laughs> their life is changing literally before their eyes. It's happening too fast. So what happened with this energy? What's, what type of situation are they in right now, Spirit? What type of situation are they in right now? 
Oh, they under judgment for the magic that they've done. Oh, damn. Uh, and y'all, I'm they're being mentally attacked too. Okay, so they have these entity attachments are taking over for this fucking magic, and they was told already. Child, they have regret. They uh, don't do that, mm. honey. Messing with forces thou not know. Wow. And they the Queen of Pentacles in reverse too, honey. Yes, they are. Ten of Swords. Mm, and want to come and offer you after they done did that shit to you. Backstabbed and betrayed you. Possibly with a Queen of Pentacles. Want to come back and give you a family. Bitch, you don't want nothing with that. You like, mm-mm, bye. Yeah, no. They done did too much. This person, why do these people do too much and then think they can come back? And then think they're going to cry their way through your good graces? Gemini, your heart, your heart, they, they can cry all they want. But I feel like that's just wasted tears. Because it is. Because your heart space is locked up. Your emotions are caged up in here, you see? And you thinking about, you thinking like analytical, logical, okay? Very clearly how you're moving forward. But um, this is just, mm, anything else, Holy Spirit? What is the, um, what does this person feel about, what, why did they leave my babies? That's what I want to know. For a Queen of Cups energy, baby mama, yeah, they left, yeah. And they ended out a cycle. That's what closed the cycle, the world card. And that actually balanced out the scales. So that was your God's protect, protection for your blessing for you to have some type of transformation and new beginning. Okay? And that's something you didn't know. Unbeknownst to you. You were going through some type of spiritual awakening. This is what they did for you to step into some type, some type of high-ranking position. Okay? So yeah. And that's why they left you. So it's like... Don't be mad at the karmic energy. Don't be mad at, you know, God did his thing so you could do what you needed to do for him. Okay? So you can get to the Ten of Pentacles because God wanted to bless you. It was your one-seater, not the two-seater, the one-seater. One, one coin for you, one major coin. Okay? All because you went within and had your ascension. So... Yeah, don't go above, don't go against the grain of God, okay? I know these trials and tribulations can get he heavy sometimes. You know, these towers, we don't understand why they are what they are, but understand they're not all bad. I feel like every tower is a good tower, especially if it's built on a faulty foundation. God will bring that shit down so you can start all over and get you something solid. Because whatever this was that you were getting ready to go into... That was going to keep you feeling like trapped and stuck. You could have been a prisoner of this person. Okay, they would have kept you mentally entrapped, mentally inbound, you know, cheating on you, third party energies. You would have been miserable. Control, and they would have never been able to make no money. This person never has money. They're the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So if this person's coming to you, it's not for love, it's for money, and they're trapped. But you already know that, though. And this is why this is easy for you to make your decision and stand in your power. Okay, this 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 emperor energy, whoever this person is, they play way too many games. It could be an older gentleman, but they play a lot. And they kept you in competition. They were playing about marrying you and having you in a higher level of commitment. This is because they were toxic. Okay, they didn't want to let you go. They wanted to keep the strings attached. Play with your mind. Mind games. Maybe he'll marry me one day. Maybe he won't. You know, keeping you always in your head about the situation. But then, at the end of the day, you decided to stand your ground and let go and you don't give a fuck. And so you let it hang. You said, fuck it. If you, you don't want, fuck it. And that's what you did. And you walked away, honey. And that's what opened up that enlightenment in your mind. And now your wishes are being fulfilled. So this is a good thing. And your emperor is on their way. If they're not on their way, they're here. God is working on this person too. You possibly not, not, look, not know them. But they are mirroring your experience. And when you come together, you guys are going to be completely aligned, okay? So, yeah. Don't be looking for nobody from the past. And then some of you guys are not getting an emperor. You're just going to be... On your spiritual journey as a spiritual eunuch. And that means, you know, your God is your partner for life. Period. That's where, you know, the nuns come in. You know, their God their husband is God. That's why they don't have sex. They're abstinent. So anyway, that's a whole nother thing. But anyway, Jim and I, that's been your reading. I love you so much. Keep doing you um, and be the best of you. And you are. But don't worry about nobody from the past. 
Because you already know God's rejection is your protection. And we'll talk soon. I love you. Bye.